you are interested in applying for this university, there is a link in the description below. I would also like to invite you to watch the next video that showcases the piloting department facilities. And don't forget to subscribe. I had an amazing time with the pilots and I have learned so much. And now I am where the Cabin Crew Academy is. And I'm here with this uh, beautiful young lady named Briscoot and she's going to show us around and uh, show us up the training facility and what type of things that they teach to prepare the cabin crew uh, Ethiopian Aviation Academy slash university. Now it's university. So, Hello Briscoot. Hi. <laughs> nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, let me introduce myself. Yes, My please. Name is Biscuit Ambacho. I've been here uh, in the airlines for the last 12 years as a cabin crew member. Uh, and, uh, currently, I'm here as a safety instructor in the Aviation Academy uh, representing cabin crew and catering training. Super! Okay! Let's go you around. lead the way, yeah! You lead the way! mock-ups that we are going to give training for our council members uh, about safety. Uh, when you see these mock-ups, there are different kinds. Right, so you're going to give me a tour? Sure. Yeah, super. So this is your playground, no? Yes. This is your playground. <laughs> We're in your safe space. All right, so show me around. Uh, as you can see, it's really amazing. It's uh, nice. We have a swimming pool here, uh, just, just for training purpose. Uh, a cabin crew member is required to pass a swimming test before he or she becomes a cabin crew member. And as you can see, there are classrooms around here, and as well as more cups. Uh, these small cups we have here are representing our Q400 aircrafts and this one as you can see in front of you is a 767 aircraft. Over there on the right side there is a 737 mm -hmm. and the, the, the other one we have the one in the back yeah the one at the back of the 767 mocha we have a white body mocha so here, what we do here around here is uh, we give trainings, uh, theory trainings in the classroom. Then uh, we just bring them here to give a practical training. What we do on the practical training is the main one is on how to operate the doors because the doors uh, you're not go going to operate them on the same way. If it is emergency, the operation is going to be a different one. And if it's um, the normal disembarking situation, it's different. So we're going to just give them practical training here. What we have learned in the classroom will be practical here in the mock -ups. Wow, okay. Let me take you so it's like it's a really i mean the real planes look exactly the same sure. so sure. when they leave from they're not going to get confused because yeah. there's nothing new uh, when they go to the operation because it looks like it's exactly the same, yeah. The exits and everything, yeah. Uh, it's all the same, so they're not going to get uh, confused. Yeah. Uh, not only on safety trainings, safety practical trainings, uh, but we will also give them service practical trainings here. Yeah. We uh, just put uh, the trainees inside the mockups, and they will give service, like simulating uh, that passengers are exactly there so they're not going to get confused anyways <laughs> it's good yeah it makes them comfortable also to be yes, on the on the plane yes, that's what makes the, the training quality um also like apart from uh, ooh, where are you Sorry. apart <laughs> apart from uh, showing them how to do services they learn so many different things right mm -hmm. like the swimming uh, they also learn how to uh, uh, face situations how to take out fire if there is an emergency sure. uh, if there is like uh, and uh, health and safety as well right if, if someone is sick uh, how to give PCR sure. yes yeah. CPR as well uh, uh, let me take you to the yes please yes show you everything. Uh, 
as you said, not only on how to operate the drones, but if there is, uh, there, there might be an outbreak of fire yeah. inside the aircraft. So uh, to handle that, it's not going to be easy. Yeah. So uh, it's not going to be new for them if there is an outbreak of fire inside the mocha, because we're going to simulate them in the mocha. So they will definitely see a smoke and a kind of fire. Uh. So uh, there are also kind of fire extinguishers that they simulate uh -huh. to just to make the fire out. So everything, uh, they're going to be familiar with everything. That's super great. Oh, oh no, no, please, uh, you take me. <laughs> Like a real airplane. It is a real airplane. You have everything. Yes, we have everything. So as passengers, we are used to seeing only these parts. So, but now we're going to see the behind the scene of what the cabin crew do in the back, and then she's going to show us like what things that they teach them in this uh, mocha. Mocha. Yes, I was going to say plane, but no, <laughs> mocha. Okay. Here, as you can see, as I have told you, there are exits mm -hmm. during the emergency and there are different kind, uh, the main doors as well. So uh, we're going to show them everything on how to operate them. And in case of emergencies, the emergency can be uh, uh, any kind of emergency. If there is fire, for example, we have a fire extinguisher here. Okay. So they are going to simulate So when you teach them you actually just sit here and give them and like start. situations and sure. instructions Sure so And then they have to know how to handle that situation, situation. Yeah. Sure. So we're going to just uh, see whether they are uh, fit for to be a cabin crew member or yeah. not yeah. because you're going to see the actual situation or yeah. the, uh, the things that they are going to uh, you see how they are going to handle the situation yeah so you just uh, even evaluate them here while doing the practical training so they're going to be evaluated according to that oh, wonderful so if the cabin pressure change suddenly even we do have uh, we have the oxygen masks, hour, yeah. The oxygen masks, yeah. so we, they're, they're going to just uh, see all these things. Yeah. So if it actually happens there, they're not going to be confused because they know how even it looks like yeah. and what's going to happen. It's great. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Look, you see, like you can see her with the camera. They care. They take care of everything. You're like, hi. Hi. <laughs> This is super great. Now, please show me what you have here in the back because we see it, but we don't know what it is or we don't really see it because we're sitting here in the back. So what do you have here, like in the back of the plane? This is our kitchen. We call it Gali. Mm -hmm. This is where we are uh, going to prepare uh, uh, everything. We eat meal here, we prepare drinks and we get ready before we serve our passengers. We just uh, somewhere that we make coffee and tea and everything yeah. ready here before we come out of the cabin and serve you okay so this normally our... these are the um, the trolleys yes. right these are the trolleys and then you have a heater and then that's the storage i'm guessing sure. and then you have the coffee thing here so you have everything in one space and this is where you sit yes, we call it a jump seat we, we, this is where we sit and take yeah. off and, land. and take off and landing all right and you said 737 so what do they learn on this side of the uh, on this aircraft especially we have to, they have to learn uh, how we are they're going to operate their doors during emergency on uh, as well as on the normal situation oh, okay so there yes okay. this one as you can see is that one so it has its own operation yeah. Both on emergency as well as exit. The normal oh, and then, uh, so like this, if there is like some type of accident, so they know how to open the door. Sure. And then, what was the thing called? Like uh, the toboggan? 
they, they do have to uh, they they have to arm the door yeah. the police arming the doors yeah. that means uh, they are ready the doors are ready in case of emergency yeah so if we have an emergency landing they are going to open the door in our uh, in, in such a way that the passengers can evacuate yeah if there is a normal is in the normal situation if the passengers have to disembark they have to open the door in a different way oh so okay. they will learn both of both of those things yes. because this goes directly to the swimming pool so it's to assimilate yes. just in case there's an accident and they land in water sure. Sure. that there is this thing that you open that floaties sure. right then they can learn how to float on that thing sure. and save lives and yeah. you know save lives <laughs> this one we call it uh, airbus okay uh, airbus. it's a different door this yes, one it's a different door it's the door of uh, airbus very big ones right yes. so uh, it's a uh, not only very big one but it has a different operation okay uh, like the others it's a, it has its own operation like during emergency as well as on the normal situation wow okay so they will learn here on how to operate the doors, both on emergency cases and uh, normal, normal landing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the same. See, there is a swimming pool. Yeah. Uh, a cabin crew member. Before you become a cabin crew member, you have to complete a swimming test here in the academy because uh, it's one of the requirements. That's the mm -hmm. reason uh, they need to develop their. Uh, they need to develop the, their confidence, so it's also a requirement for one cabin crew member uh, to swim and to take the swimming exam. lessons. Yeah, and uh, what's the what do they have to do? Like how much? How much time do they need? Like is it like two minutes and uh, uh, not two minutes actually? They have to go there. Yeah, and back. Back twice. Yeah, and how much time? Uh, there is no uh, time but they, they can't uh, just discontinue in the middle yeah yes wow that's good different parts of the world cabin crew members come here and take recurrent training the annual uh, uh, training that they use to uh, renew their license oh nice cabin crew licenses from different parts of uh, african countries as well they will come here and take their recurrent trainings that's super great well that shows the capability of this place and the professionals that work here. What I also noticed is like there's so much discipline here. They don't only uh, teach the students how to be disciplined on their job, but also the teachers and the people who work here are very disciplined. So it's like, you know, when the parent is disciplined, then the kids follow. So they have a good uh, example to follow. That's very important. <laughs> we have some passengers over here. <laughs> Hello, passenger Dere. How you doing? <laughs> um, traveling the world and all of these things, you know, it's my thing. But uh, to do that, I wanted to be a carbon crew at some point in my life because I thought it was the best way to travel for free and get paid uh, with it, you know, because it's, hey, it's a great job. I did a cabin crew uh, course when I was in Madrid and I actually know these type of things and I have a very, very big respect for uh, cabin crew members because what people see when you are flying and you see the cabin crew is the way they are serving you or you just think they're just giving you food but what you have to understand is that the cabin crew uh, members are very very important and they're not just waiters on the plane they are way way bigger than that because as you see when you're flying on the plane there is this and the air so here the governors and the police and the doctors and the uh, cook and the everything they're the cabin crew and the cap the and the pilots so please be kind when you are in the plane when you connect with them because their job is very difficult they're not only here to serve you food but if something happens they are your lifesavers they are your doctors they are your police they are every, everything in one person. So in this space, that's what they learn. They learn how to be uh, kind towards people, you know, to have to know how to serve people. They, they learn how to do, um, how to give uh, first aid if someone gets sick, how to give CPR. They also learn how to, they're also like the firemen, you know, because they learn how to take out fire because here there's no one but them. Uh, they also learn uh, how to 
uh, handle situations because sometimes someone might get drunk uh, someone might have a fight with someone so they also uh, learn how to assist that situation so the training is very big it's not just you know like what you see and to be honest um, I think they have a very difficult job so the only thing we can do is appreciate their job and be kind to them when you're on the flight and do whatever they tell you because whatever they're telling you is for your own good and for your own safety and for the flight to go well and they're very well trained as you've seen they train very well yeah they train for three months every day uh, how to uh, make your life easier uh, so make their life easier as well thank you very much thank you for coming to my TED talk and I'm gonna go now and now we're gonna go to the other one right as I have told you before yeah this is uh, where we can see um, the crew members evaluating themselves just to develop to yeah. their confidence as well as they know how to evacuate on passengers this thing is going to be inflated yeah 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 so like you teach them here when there is like emergency thing that how to open the door for emergency situation they and open it for real for real and it will be inflated, inflated. and they will slide through this way. yeah and then and they, de they definitely feel it more so this type of situation can happen also like uh, when you are in the sea and the land uh, in land and sea and whatever and that's why it's so important also they teach them how to swim because on the swimming lessons they also teach them how to save lives because they teach you like how to hold a person and be able to swim so you can put them on the on that little thingy in the lifesaver what you call them little boat oh, thingies yeah that one life raft thingy the life. yellow one yes. you know what we're talking about you know like you float come on you're in the water you float on that thing <laughs> so they know how to do that and it takes so much skill it takes so much training it takes so much of everything and i what i want to add on this also is like I said earlier, it's they they rule everything. It's like a, it's like a, a different country and a plane. So whatever rules they give you, do accept. Don't give them a hard time, because if you make their life also very difficult, you will be dropped. Yeah. So don't don't be naughty. Don't be naughty because they have to make uh, other people's life uh, easier. So if you're making problems, they have the authority to stop the plane, drop you anywhere in the world wherever they are so don't be naughty tell them not to be naughty <laughs> at least don't don't be naughty <laughs> you don't want to be dropped off anywhere in the world also like you know if you're like like this naughty naughty they have the authority to call the authorities and drop you anywhere you can go to prison or whatever depending on how naughty we you do are that for the safety of our passengers actually uh, of course like it's for the safety of uh, a passenger because the plane is out there in the sky so if there's one person creating a problem and they can't uh, main, like detain that person, it's a risk for everyone in that plane. So to take out that risk, you have to remove that person because there is nowhere where you can put them in the plane. So that's why like I say, like don't be naughty because the author they have the authority to take you out of the plane because they have to think about everyone else in the plane. Because yeah? we are there for the safety. Passengers. Exactly. There is a procedure following that procedure. Yeah. It might be just exactly. Different. It's it's for safety situation. That's sure. why, like, if you're not naughty, well, there's no need to take you out of the plane. Yeah. There are rules and regulation. The sure. same way we uh, follow the rules when we are in land. That's right. They are there. They're the only people who can take care of us and make sure that we're safe and we arrive safely to places. So if they tell you the rules, just follow them, because you not following can make other people's life in danger sure. and they have to take uh, precautions for the safety of other people and yours as well so don't be naughty <laughs> okay, this one is a this is our wide body mock-up uh, wide, what? Wide, body. wide body wide mock -up. body mock-up yeah because this one has three rows oh oh business class okay this is uh, uh, the place where i have a uh, I have flew in only one time or two, <laughs> which I am working towards there so I can fly in this in this uh, situation right here all the time. <laughs> yeah. So for now, my fabulous lady is going to show me around in this uh, uh, fabulous business class. Or is it first class? Business. It's business class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
what makes this one different is this is as you can see it's our business class yeah um, so we give trainings for our problem co members they, the services are a little bit different so they have to see on how to give the service in business class as well as in economy class we have garnish just like we have seen before yeah the kitchen the kitchen <laughs> It's all the same, but the setup is a little bit different. It's a little bit fancy. Oh, yeah, but very <laughs> fancy. I have a question. Yeah. This is something that I don't know. Why is it when it's takeoff and landing that they close the curtains between business and economy class? Because I always, they always, they always close the the when it takes the, the thingy on me. I don't know when it is, but I see. They close the curtains on me, and I'm like, I want to see if I can't go sit there. I want to see what's happening. <laughs> so why is that? For take off and landing, it should be open. Actually. Okay. Uh, so when is for it? For safety reason, everything has to be secured, so it's going to be secured. But while giving service, because it's a different class, we have to close oh, for so privacy here. <laughs> so we don't feel like. <laughs> Because the service in business class and economy class is very different. The food is also very different. And the way it comes is very different. And you get a glass of champagne as well. So since you don't get that, so you don't feel like, wah, they close it. They do it for us. Eh? They do it for our own, you know, mental state. <laughs> so we're happy. <laughs> okay, thank you for clarifying that. Because I always thought, like, what's happening there? So it's just when there is, like, service that they close and open. Yes. During oh, okay. service, but during takeoff and landing, it should always be open. Open. So the 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 way is clear, right? So that, yeah, we don't block the uh, the exit. The island, the exit. The, yeah. Question. All right. Oh, oh, I have another question. I know it has nothing to do with the the academy, but you know, I'm an airplane. So, where is the bed? Uh, where do you sleep? Because when you have like a long flights, and you're in a big plane. Is there like a place to sleep? Uh, actually, we don't have it here. Here, yes. but normally, where is it? It's on the triple seven aircrafts. So where, like, like down, <laughs> top, side? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where, whether I have to tell you this or not. Uh, oh, it's really amazing how they make this. So right when you come through the airplane, it's exactly the same way they made the mock-up. So you have business class, you pass through business class, you have like uh, the toilets or storage room and toilets on the sides and you have the galley, another uh, emergency exits on the sides and then you have economy class. But this is not a real plane, this is a uh, ta-da! And then you have this, amazing. One thing that I have to tell you about this uh, narrow body mock-up, yeah. it has a motion too. Oh, so it has a sensor like to sure. stimulate turbulence? Sure. Uh, not only turbulence, but if there is a crash landing or ditching, you can, it can simulate and there is a, a kind of vibration and a motion as well. Wow. So they will actually feel how it feels uh, when the airplane crashes as well as how when it peaks. Wow. The, the motion. Uh, so that's why when we see the hostesses on the plane, they don't, they're not really scared when there is <laughs> turbulence or something and everybody's freaking out and they're just there with their throat. It's like nothing is happening. <laughs> Maybe, but they don't develop their confidences through, yeah. uh, throughout the training. There's different kinds of things. Actually. Yeah. Something I have to really give credit uh, to them and to you know to this academy is like like i said earlier i did study uh, to do this um the cabin crew courses i did take this but um and i took it in spain but they didn't have in the facilities none of this like none of this we studied in the classrooms and then we had to simulate the classroom as an uh, as a plane and then we went like two or three times to uh, like an older airport so we can go inside the place and check how the space is and then like none of this is simulator thing here and the swimming pool also we had to go to um, a real swimming like a swimming pool place to do the our swimming classes and our swimming uh, how do you say exams also because like i mentioned also uh, they learn uh, as a cabin crew you learn how to be 
uh, a fireman, a policeman, uh, um, you know, medical person, first everything, leader. first, everything, like you're everything in one person. And also like to do the fire, we went to where the fire firemen train to, to know how to, uh, fight. yeah, how, how to fight the fire. But here you have everything in one space. And I think that is amazing because they do have the classes like you see that like all these classes surrounding they have the classes here but seeing it and living it and even experiencing it as real as this is when they get to work it's nothing new it's everything that they know in class so that i think is amazing so you guys are doing amazing job <laughs> thank you so much is there more things you want to show me Oh, that's all. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, and I mean, if you want to uh, learn uh, to become a cabin crew, you know where to come. This beautiful lady and her colleagues and this beautiful university is waiting for you to come and join the team and be more, uh, how do you say? Uh, Mm. Capable, capable, professional, capable. Bueno, those people, come on, professionals, amazing people, come on. Then you can become that here. <laughs>